Hi everyone, this is Miss Chocolate, and today what we will be doing is painting a mason jar. So it's going to look something like this. Uh, it's really cute and colorful, and it has multiple uses. You can put a pencil, perhaps, just like that, or you can put some flowers, literally whatever you like. So let's get started. The supplies you will need are a mason jar, paint, paint brushes, and a paper towel. And here's more of a visual representation just in case. So to start off, we're going to take off the lid off our mason jar. And what I did is I put a piece of construction paper under just so that I don't get paint everywhere. So then we're going to grab our turquoise paint and a big brush. And I chose a big brush because it'll cover it more quickly, hence make it go faster. Once we are done with our first coat, we're going to wait and let it dry, and then we're going to do a second coat. Now that it's all dry, we're going to begin our second coat. So with the same brush, we're going to just brush lightly all the way around. Once again, you're going to want to wait for the whole mason jar to dry in order to do the next step. So then you're just going to set it down there lightly and then wait. So now we're going to grab our white paint and our yellow paint. So we're only going to need a little bit of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab smaller brushes. So something like that. And you're just going to grab it and dip it in your yellow. You're going to make a little circle. It could be small or medium. That's totally up to you. And then with a different brush, so we're going to use about the same size one. We're going to dip it in our white and begin making our petals. So it kind of looks like that. You're going to make it kind of like a little oval shape. Now, another method you could do is instead of doing it like that and you're trying to get that perfect shape, um, you could just do lines coming straight out of the flower. That works perfectly as well and it looks just as cute. That's more of a simpler way of doing it, so if you'd like to do that instead, that's totally fine. We're going to continue making these flowers all around the mason jar. So we're on our last flower and then we are going to put it upside down once we're done to dry. Because for me personally, I would like to paint the bottom 
So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the blue paint, just put it on top. And once again, I'm gonna grab that big brush and then just spread it all throughout the bottom. And then once you're done covering it entirely, we're gonna leave it like that just so that the flowers and the bottom can dry evenly. And there we have it, our own mason jar. I hope you guys had lots of fun.